squeaky chair, squeaky chair, squeaky chair. Yeah, it's been a month again. Wow, time flies when you're having fun. Ah. Oh, Trump's as bad as ever, but I'm not going to talk about him today. And I'm not going to talk about that virus. Um, I'm going to talk about something else, something funner. Well, funny. Funny for other people. I uh, tried to... Yeah, I, no, no barber, right? I tried to cut my own hair. And it was not as easy as I thought it might be. I never really tried before. Um, and that's why I'm wearing the hat, mostly. Uh, and I'm not taking it off, so... Don't uh, think you're going to get a C. My wife cleaned up as best she could, but uh, even she couldn't fix it. Uh, yeah. It, it goes back, you know. And I have hats, plenty of them. So, but anyway, I want to talk about uh, something that uh, I think is pretty important. It's an outlook I have, and I like to share this little philosophy, if you will. Um, I call it looking up. And the reason I call it that is because you've all met someone who's just unwilling to look up. And what I mean by that is, for example, the reason I choose looking up is because it's just the simplest way to put it. You go outside and you look up and you see the sky is a beautiful blue. You go into work and you tell your boss, oh, look, boss, I'm not saying this is your boss, but if it is, his whole boss is this way. Look, boss, look out the window. The sky's the most beautiful blue I've ever seen. And he goes, no, it's not a screen. He goes, no, no, really, go look. It's blue. It's the most beautiful blue I've ever. And he just insists it's green. No matter what you say. No, no, I, I, what do you think? And then you get mad, even, you know. Oh, what are you, what are you telling me? I'm not too stupid to know what color the sky is, you know? I mean, it's... And, I, and I, it's... It's a simple way to look at uh, people with denial type issues. Um, I know people who refuse to look up. You know, and that's me and my wife have a. I we've established that you know that's a cue or whatever. It, hey, we need to look up. You know, it's 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 to look around yourself before you start making before you you're sure you're right. Make sure you're right. You know, before you stand on the ground that you're absolutely right. Make sure you're absolutely right. Don't just assume you are. Um, all you got to do is look up. It's that simple in most cases. <laughs> Not all cases. Okay, now, that being said, there's something that's been eating at me and I keep forgetting to mention it. It's, it's so obvious. I don't know why nobody notices it. Does anybody out there watched an episode of Cops, the television show Cops. You know, when they read the Miranda warning over and over and over and over, you have the right to remain silent. You can, you know, blab your mouth off or you can remain silent, which is what all lawyers tell you to do, remain silent. But you see, there's a one catch with that Miranda warning. Once they read you the warning, they've already gotten all the information they want from you. And they've decided that you're guilty. And now you get your Miranda warning. So you, you've already shot yourself in both feet. You know, you can refuse to answer any more questions. But the smart thing was to refuse to answer all questions. At least that's what the lawyers tell me. It, it'll be a hassle. You'll probably go to jail. Maybe not overnight, but maybe overnight. Who knows? They don't like it when you step on their authority with... Legalities. I really hate that. Yeah, my wife tried to close a door in her face one time and she had pepper spray and it was arrested for assault. And because it was so brutal and uncalled for, I asked for his badge number and he said, Shut up, sit down, or you're going to jail too. Well, I went to jail too anyway and I didn't say anything else. I sat down and shut up just like he ordered me to. And, you know, they came, they put my, took my wife to jail that night. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, by the time you get your Miranda warning, it's already too late. That's what I'm saying. And lawyers don't even seem to realize this. Just 
when you get stopped by the cops, if it's something you're being accused of something major, you know, you're better off not to say anything at all. Say, I want my lawyer. I want my lawyer. I want my lawyer. Well, even if you don't have one, say, I want his lawyer. Okay. Now another pet peeve of mine. I don't know if I have time for it or not. Oh, yeah, sure. Wow, I'm really rolling by. Okay. I recently, well, not recently, a few years ago, a couple of years ago, I got a thing from a, it's an app for a credit monitoring service. You know, they let you check your credit score. And I checked mine. And it's uh, no surprise to me. It wasn't that great. And, uh, but there was a few things on there that were, I assumed, were dragging it down that shouldn't have been on there. And so I filed some forms and made some complaints, and they removed them. And once they did, I had no score. I went from a poor score to no score. And it dawned on me why. Now, this is confusing, so keep up. What it is is they don't like it if they're not making money off of you. And they're not making money off I don't buy anything on credit, first of all. I don't have a credit card. I have a debit card, but no credit card. I don't want a credit card. I don't trust myself with it. I would, I would abuse it and find myself in debt, not able to pay it, like many, many people out there who are unwilling to admit. So, yeah, no, no credit cards. I refuse to get one. And uh, they say, you know, they can help my credit score, yeah, if I get a credit card. And, um, and then now they've got it so where if I don't, I don't have that, I, I pay all my bills. I don't have anything on my credit history. There's nothing on it. There's no late payments. There's no uh, foreclosures. There's no, you know, but yet I have no score because there's no activity. And so it puts me in a unique position to see this from a rare angle because not a lot of people are in my position that don't have anything on their credit report, anything. Once I got those things, it was a childless report thing that was 10 years past due, that it should have been taken off. I got that removed and then there was something that I didn't know what it was and they agreed that it wasn't mine and they took that off. And once those two things were removed, um, I assumed my score would go up because they were dragging it down and no score. So what they're doing is they've got this credit score where it affects where you can rent your house or, or buy, where you can, people checking your credit score for jobs. So it'll affect your job. They're, they're basically saying, if you don't, to me, if you don't <laughs> borrow some money, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're not, we're gonna shoot down your score, and you're not gonna be able to do any, you know, you're not gonna be able to take advantage of somebody else who the higher score can take advantage of, and it's, it's, it's not fair to me because I, it's not like I don't pay my bills, I just don't pay with a credit card because I don't like them. They are terrible things to have, and, and anybody who's ever gotten into debt with them knows what I'm talking about. If you if you pay yours off every month, then by all means use a credit card. It's it'll help those guys get rich. <laughs> You're helping a banker get rich. Just pay, pay with a debit card. Pay write a check. Yeah, yeah. but then you see, you, then your credit score goes down because you don't owe them any money. I I I bought one thing. I bought an engagement ring on credit once. And that's the only thing I've ever bought on credit. I paid it off. And it's it's so old it doesn't seem to show up anymore. <sighs> yeah, I just pay cash. So yeah, it's a rip off. See, I I I have I'm affected negatively because I pay cash for everything. Not because I don't pay my bills, but it reflects to prospective you know, banks and whatever. If I wanted to get a loan or something, they'd say, Ugh, because you have no credit history. Ugh. Well, 
doesn't mean I don't pay my bills, because look, there's nothing past due. Nothing, you know, but yeah. I don't know. I think the credit rating and all that stuff is just, a, it's just highway robbery. And you know, you can put them all out of business, just cut up them credit cards, man. You should do it anyway, you know you should. They're no good. I mean, they're, they're good for emergencies. If you can hang on to it for emergencies only. If you're, if you're that good, which I'm not, if you're that good, then fine. You know, you should have one. Especially if you don't have a you know, large bank account. You know, like, you know, your car breaks down. Ah, good thing you got the credit card. Yeah, yeah how long does it take to pay out? But anyway, yeah. So stay away from the bugs, both the ones you can and the ones you can't see, and the ones who bug you like me. Oh, uh, that was good. I almost laughed at myself. Okay. That's it? Oh, yeah, I ordered some masks. They might get here before the pandemic's over. It's been two weeks, and they still, the order is still pending, so. They're Seahawks masks. They match my hat. Okay, goodbye. I'll see you guys maybe again sometime. Probably about another month.